Can you talk about what a calendar method is? So the calendar method is basically you use a calendar to track when your menses are coming and which days are days that are ovulatory days, also known as fertile days, and which mm -hmm. days are not. So the calendar method can work for individuals that are people that have regular, regular periods. Very regular. Yeah, so if your periods are between 26 to 32 days every month, you can use the calendar method. Now, at the same time, though, this is user dependent. Some mm -hmm. people are better at this than others. Right. And we don't recommend that everybody try this. Um, and the other thing is that if you are somebody who doesn't have regular periods, let's say one month it's 28 days and the next month it's 35, or some people that have polycystic ovarian syndromes or things like that, right. where their periods come every three months, that is not a good option. But if you're good about it, then it, it actually is a pretty good option. Or as my OBGYN said, another one that doesn't work is the pull and pray. That's not a good contraception method. No, also known as uh, <laughs> coitus interruptus uh, or withdrawal. <laughs> Basically, um, it's, that's not a great option. So you have about a 15 to 25 percent uh, risk of pregnancy with withdrawal. So as you can imagine, you have to be really good at it, and mm -hmm. most people aren't. So we don't recommend uh, withdrawal. Just like the, the calendar method, I'm, I'm very, very hesitant to. Can't be just reliant on that. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very, very few people that I'll say, okay, fine, you can do that. You have to be really, really responsible mm -hmm. with that.